In 2012, a small piece of land in the Monongahela National Forest was overrun by powerful government control. The people living in this forest are forced into enslavement and being kept prisoner under the authority of Governor Charles Shinman. created a new army called the Anti-Religion Force, or ARF. The Mongahalian National Force has been surrounded by ARF troops to keep people from entering or exiting the entire forest. There is one person who can change the course of Shinman's evil and corruption. He is known throughout the centuries of mankind and is undeniable. He is far more powerful than anything we know.
Everything's gonna be alright. God will be with us. Alright, this is what you have to do right now. Go about 100 feet straight up that hill and make a right there. That should take you right to the hiding place. Tell no one of this place. Also, if you have an emergency, you need to call this number. But only in an emergency. Here's the cell phone. Don't use it for anything else but to call us. What are we supposed to do here? You will wait till we give you further instructions. Something else important you need to know. Not so far away, there's a factory. That's the place that we're gonna leave food, clothes, and other things you might need. I drew you up a map of its location. Just follow it and you won't miss it. Be careful that no one sees you. Go behind the factory and you will find a white plastic bag of food and clothes there. Now, this is very, very important. We will be dropping off one bag only on Saturdays at 7 p.m. Be there at 7.15 p.m. promptly. There will only be one soldier there. If everything works out well, we'll contact you in a month to try to get you out of this forest. I don't understand. Why can't you just drop the bag off at the hiding place? No, that's too dangerous. You see, the hiding place is not yet known by the ARF, and we want to keep it that way. Remember, you must make this on time. 7.15 p.m., not a second later. You got that? No yeah. problem. You gotta be kidding me. They want us to stay here? It's only for a short time. Until they can get us out of this place. I can't believe I come here. You should have left me in the prison. At least I had something to sleep on. Don't worry, we'll make it. God is good, you know? People are helping us. We have a phone, we're getting food, and this is a safe place. He said it'll only be a month, right? Hey, John is right. God will watch over us, and tomorrow, two of us are going to go to the factory to see if we can get something to eat. We just have to wait and trust in God. I'm sure everything will be fine. So what happened to you guys? How did you get here? Well, my family was murdered nine years ago. Since then, I've been running around trying to stay safe and out of the sight of the ARF. I left my home a few months ago. I was looking for my dad. As far as I know, he joined the ARF. When I went out looking for him, I was captured and put in this prison. Till one day the strange man set me free and told me to wait at the old prison and wait for help. Well, my story is quite similar to both of yours. My dad was murdered and my mom, well, I never really knew my mom. She died right after I was born. My house burned down. I was forced to serve the ARF until one day I was able to escape. That's my story. But now the ARF has probably complete control of this land. They're gonna find this place. We're not getting out. You know, I believe that God brought us together for a reason. You think so, John? I absolutely do. I hope so, too. All right. It's been a long day for all of us. 
I think I'm gonna try to get some shut eye. Hey, John, wake up. Oh, man, did I sleep last night. Sleeping is not an option for me right now. I was struggling all night trying to sleep. So what are we going to do today? Sit here, what do you think? Well, that too. But today, two of us have to go to the factory to get the supplies they left us there. What makes you so sure that they're really out there? The driver said that it would be on the back side of the factory. But we can't go now. We have to wait till 7. But until then, let's have a look around. Yeah, do you mind? I'm not going outside. It's too dangerous. We don't know how long we're going to stay here. We have to know our way around. Can someone please tell me how long that's going to take? Brian, for once, let's just listen to what she said. Fine. 